What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeO.com, and I am back with my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Tuesday, October 19th. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Head to Twitter and follow me, at Josh Engelman, only place you're going to get updates to my sim results as we get closer to lock. Let me know in the comments section who's your favorite and least favorite of my contenders for today's slate. And finally, shout out to Prize Picks. You can see it on the screen. They are the presenting sponsor of this video. Use the promo code OSMO when signing up. Get up to $100 in an instant match deposit bonus on your first deposit. Now, we round out the bottom of my top 10 with Kevin Durant, Kent Bazemore, Chris Middleton, Juan Toscano Anderson, maybe, and Jordan Poole on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? It's time to find out. Coming in at number five, we've got shooting guard, small forward, eligible Andrew Wiggins. He is 6,200, projected for 34 fantasy points. The goal is 41, which he hit 16% of the time. 39% likelihood to be in the optimal. That gets him to five. I gave him 34 minutes. Now that he's here, I expect big things. Basically a fantasy point per minute. We're talking 24% usage, 20 points, five boards, two assists, two stocks. You're going to get a little bit of everything, but you're certainly going to get the scoring I still think Andrew Wiggins looks pretty good here, and I'm a little surprised to see how low his price is. Plus, you get the ability to roster him at shooting guard, small forward, guard forward utility. He's the perfect position on DK. That's what I think is pulling him up a little bit. He's not my favorite player in the world. I have some ill thoughts for him out of previous sweat coming from last season, but for right now, I'm happy to get to a bunch of him because he's my number five. At number four, I'm going to Brooklyn and I'm going to Bruce Brown. Same eligibility, shooting guard, small forward, but he's a cheaper version of Andrew Wiggins. Does a little bit of different stuff on the floor too. 3,600 for Brown, projected for 20. The goal's 28. He's in the optimal lineup 40% of the time. I gave him 22 minutes, but there's certainly some wiggle room on his playing time. 0.9 fantasy points per minute, eight points, five boards, two assists, probably one stock, maybe two. The matchup against Milwaukee is whatever. Honestly, there's no real tell. It's a pace neutral spot based on where I have the pace right now. Milwaukee's defense should be good, but we've seen these guys play enough. Bruce Brown at 3,600 is just too cheap for this spot if he's playing 22 minutes. At number three, we're paying 7K for Drew Holiday. Only point guard eligible, projected for 34. The goal is 45. He'll hit that 18% of the time. He'll be in the optimal altogether 42% of the time. That's 34 minutes for Drew. Had a really up and down playoffs, but now is an NBA champion. 1.1 fantasy points per minute, 21% usage, and then just a really balanced line. 17 points, five boards, six and a half assists, two stocks. The stocks aren't as important on DraftKings as they are on FanDuel, but even still, you're getting two points for each one of them. It's a good matchup against Brooklyn. They have no defense to speak of. Uh, it's certainly not James Harden. I know that it's not Patty Mills. We have no Kyrie Irving, obviously. I'm happy to get to Drew. 7K works, but he's not my favorite buck. But we don't have a buck here. Number two, James Harden, but not my favorite payup option. Point guard, shooting guard eligible, 9,300, which is a really nice price for Harden. 50 fantasy point projection. The goal is 56, which he hits pretty frequently. 43% likelihood to be in the optimal. I gave him 36 minutes. When Kevin Durant is on the floor with James Harden, he really takes a step back in usage, really tries to be a facilitator. Big time assist rate bump as well. 1.4 fantasy points per minute, 24 points, seven and a half boards, eight assists, which might actually be a little low. Two stocks as well. I mean, Harden does get into some passing lanes. One and a half steals is the expectation. I really like getting to Harden. 9,300 is just not the right price tag. That's a price tag that assumes Kyrie Irving is playing. He's not, so he's a really nice value but he's not my number one payup option. Before we get to that payup option, one last reminder to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Then follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. It's the only place you're going to get my updates to my Sims as we get closer to lock. I need to know who your favorite and least favorite contenders are in the comments, and I want you to go check out prize picks using the promo code OSIMO so that you can get up to $100 free on an instant match deposit bonus. If I'm paying up today, I'm paying all the way up for the arguable best player in basketball coming off of a title. That would be Giannis Antetokounmpo, power forward, center eligible, 10K, projected for 55. The goal is 60. He does it 31% of the time. He's in the optimal 46% of the time. I think I'm even being pessimistic. 34 minutes. He could play 36. 
1.56 fantasy points per minute. He's the best fantasy point per minute guy on the planet. So that's a guy that I want to have a lot of. Almost 28 points, 12 and a half rebounds, five assists, two stocks. What's not to like here? Brooklyn is not set up to slow him down. I'd say they're actually less set up for it now than they were last year. No more Jeff Green, which oddly matters. I don't think Blake Griffin is going to be the answer. I just expect Giannis to smash here. Show them exactly what they had last year. They are the defending champs, and I think they want to start off on the right foot 1-0. But either way, Giannis Antetokounmpo is the number one contender on today's slate. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for opening night, Tuesday, October 19th. There's a FanDuel version of this video around here somewhere. Go check it out. Keep your eyes peeled for my updates later today. Good luck tonight, everybody. I'll be back again tomorrow morning, 6.30 a.m. Eastern time for the process and another edition of The Contenders.